Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I'm just announcing some quick news about the Godot game engine, and that is that 3.0.5 was released. Now, if you don't know about it already, uh, Godot is probably the most popular open source game engine out there right now. It's both a 2D and 3D game engine, and if you're interested in learning more, I have a full tutorial series I will link down below. Now, this actual release itself isn't a huge release by any means. It's mostly a maintenance release, but there is one major fix in this release that makes it important enough to make this video about, and that is that the the APK or the um, Android bundling process is finally working correctly with Godot 3.0.5. So if you use this release, you can now do a clean publish. You don't need to um, use an external tool or anything to fix your APK. Now, a couple of months back, um, Google Store started rejecting a few things because of the way the APK packages were signed, and that has all been resolved. Now, do be aware, though. The permissions are a bit different now, and if you use any of the following permissions in your package, uh, specifically if you ask for calendar, camera, contacts, location, microphone, phone, sensor, SMS, or storage permissions, uh, you have to add a privacy policy to your Google Play account. This has nothing to do with Godot. This was part of the signing process to get your APK working on other people's devices. And you know when you install an application on your Android phone, you get those. It requires these following permissions. Well, that's essentially what you are configuring and setting up here. Not a huge deal in any means. It's not a hard process to go through, but do be aware that if you use any of those particular permissions, you do need to go through this extra configuration setting with your Google Store publishing account. Uh, on top of that, a couple of minor changes in this one. There is an error on C Sharp export um, that has been fixed. Uh, and a couple of others. We'll look at those in a second when I look at the release notes. Uh, you'll also see it is now available for download on itch.io and Steam. So the uh, 3.0.5 download is the most current version on the Godot site on Steam and on itch.io right now. And also be aware that you need 5.12, excuse me, version of Mono uh, in order to work with the Mono version of Godot. And you will crash if you have an earlier version. So do be aware of that one. So the releases in here, basically the rest of it is mostly just a number of smaller fixes. I'll look at the exact release notes. Um, nothing that's going to set the world on fire here. The biggest change by far and away was that switch to the Android signing process. As a bit of a thorn in developer's side for the last couple of versions, there was, again, there was a workaround for it, but it was a, you know, uh, a separate process you had to run through. Now it's all working out of the box, but do be, again, aware of those two big caveats. Um, you, if you do need those are conditional permissions, you need to configure it in your publishing account. And if you are using Mono, make sure you are running a current version or you will experience problems. Otherwise, you will see a number of things fixed here. Debug, um, debugger focus stealing now works right. Uh, so that is like when you hit a breakpoint, it should jump in. Uh, seg fault when quitting the editor, obviously not a deal breaker because you're quitting the editor anyways, but it's nice to see that fixed. Uh, and the rest is mostly just straight up fixes to... Um, to uh, Godot across the board. Uh, nothing extremely huge here. This one might be for C Sharp developers. There's annotated signals loading in exported binaries, but for the most part, a very minor release of the Godot game engine, except for if you're an Android developer. If you're an Android developer, it's a pretty big release. Um, and you know, there's no longer that extra step or hoop to jump around, and thus why I bothered to make a video about such a minor release. And really, that's it for now. Quick, short video, quick, short release. Uh, if you're interested in grabbing it, once again, it's available on the Godot Engine site, as well as itch.io and Steam. They are all current with the newest version, so go on in. Now, one thing to be aware of, or not to be aware of, I suppose, there are no known incompatibilities with any of the previous versions. So we are good to go, oh, until you get down to 3.0. And there are some known compatibilities with all versions, beyond 3.0 back to 3.0 but do be aware of these if you are porting up from 3.0 and there are a couple of known bugs uh, this one is one to be aware of for sure is if you're using the physics engine the move and slide is having some issues it's had a couple of issues for a few releases now um, error about corrupt template da, da, da. It doesn't seem to really matter anything. And 32-bit mono builds appear not to function with Windows 8.164 bit. That's a bit of an edge case. Again, nothing to be really, really concerned with. Oh, and another thing that was kind of interesting. Uh, see this screenshot at the very top of the page? Da, 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 da. That guy right there? Well, that is this uh, just, ah, stylized uh, planet generator that was created with Godot. You can download the project here. Some pretty cool stuff. You can see how it works there. So if you're interested in playing around with a new project on Godot, uh, do be sure to check that one out as well. Okay, that's it for now. Hope you guys found that useful. At least you Android developers out there. Everyone else sort of, eh, okay. Um, that's it for now. See you all later. Goodbye.